Hey, Chris here. I uh, just got done strengthening up this 600 watt Renogy solar panel array. And as you can see, it now has some super strut bracing on the four corners. You see that? We're going to get up real close here. The reason why I did this is to just to strengthen it up, you know, with spring storms coming here in Oklahoma you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> so I kinda had an epiphany thinking about hmm how could I strengthen this up a little bit and not spend a whole ton of money so this is what I came up with let's go over here and take a a look-see at my work and that saw is the bomb let's go down here and I'll tell you what I did here and I'll make this relatively quick. These are three inch lag bolts galvanized with galvanized washers. Half inch, big dogs, big dogs. It, solid, solid, solid. Grade eight with locking nuts and hardened washers in there. Thinner super strut there. Of course, that was the galvanized portion there. Okay, let's go up here. This is what's really kind of cool. I bought an extra piece of this super thick super strut. And I was just going to take this one down here and just put this one in its place because it's longer and I didn't cut this properly because I needed a longer piece. For the L bracket. So I got up there and said, you know what, instead of just taking this down, I'll just leave it up there. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. It's a lot, it's a lot more rigid. And of course, uh, you know, I had these one and a half inch ones I got at Tractor Supply, and they weren't quite long enough, kind of like what this one is right here. It's still, still strong, it still catches the nylon just a little bit. But thankfully I saved and sorted out my washers, nuts, and bolts this past weekend. And these are still grade 5, so they're still pretty good and strong. And what I learned is that I use the DeWalt <clears throat> to get them going, just to get them tight. But you want to use a hand wrench. I mean, I'll tell you, you can get almost a full turn when you hand, hand crank it in there. And that's what I did with all of them. And it turned out beautiful. Okay. Same thing down there. What's really cool about this is I can still pivot it and adjust for the angles. Right now I've got it on winter, spring, 32 degrees or whatever it is. And I can adjust this up and reuse the super strut. Okay. Now here's the good thing is that I have a whole bunch of extra <laughs> down here <laughs> so I can uh, you know just unbolt it you know twice a year three times a year whatever and adjust it up or however you know no big deal but it's catching a lot of sun today I am right at solar noon this angle and I saw 611 watts a little probably a little bit of cloud edge effect going on but this thing put out well over 600 watts and this is of course the 600 watt Renogy array that I built here for the backyard and uh, you are thinking yeah 600 watts that's actually a lot of power um, 20 amps plus is just about what I run when I'm not running air conditioning. You know, just kind of what the house draws from the battery bank. So this 600 watt array is just really good for just sustaining where the main array here will take care of the rest of the charging. So total system power. Let's go here in the back corner and I'll do a big picture perspective. I 
a lot of real estate back here, but that's okay. You see there? That's the main array there. And then that's the new small array over there. So it doesn't, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Now, I didn't want it to make it look tacky. You know, we've got a guy over there with his shoddy looking barn top there. I mean, that's ugly. Whereas this is, this actually looks, I think it looks pretty good. You tell me. <laughs> so, I'm supposed to get some 50 mile an hour winds tomorrow. So the test will be tomorrow. <laughs> and I hacked off those pieces that were sticking out there and I'll take the other belt sander that's really, really good. I can just sand those edges down just a little bit or grind them, whatever I decide to do. Um, it'll look good. And of course fix, fix all this stuff here too, make that all look pretty. Now here's the thing I learned from working on this array here. You see these marks? You know what this stuff is? This is called plastic wood I got at Lowell's. Whenever this pressure treated stuff starts to settle and weather and, and all that stuff, it'll crack. Okay? That's normal. And that's okay. What I find is that that plastic wood is the best wood filler made. Really, really sticks and gets in there and stays. So when this thing starts cracking, like it is a little bit up there on the top, I'll just start filling it in as I go, but I'm not going to sand it and stain it for another couple more months. Um, get it through rainy season, tornado season, and all that jazz before I uh, make it all pretty. I still got a little bit more work to do on the, the uh, flange there and, and all that, but this bottom is really rigid. It does play, it does have a little bit of movement, but I'm putting 200 pounds of force on there. I mean, maybe about 100, 150. And it's not budging. So, you know, the torque of the, of the wind and a tornado, you know, my neighbor goes, well, you're going to build it to withstand an F5? And I go, dude, you know, an F5 is going to take out everything. Uh, you know, you're talking 200 mile an hour winds, but I guarantee you that I bet this thing can handle probably 90, 100 mile an hour wind without much fanfare stress. Hail, well, I don't know, depends on the size of the hail, but uh, these are rated for hail. And, uh, you know, up to one inch at 50 mile an hour or whatever the rating is for these, but I mean, that's one of the risks you take doing these type of things. Um, with solar and I've had those up there for What I started doing this about two and a half years ago So a couple of them are two and a half years old and most of these are just about a year old So god dang one day and look how much dirt I got up there already Holy schmode so All right guys, I hope this video helps you. You know if you want to start doing a small project um, This does take a lot of time and love, passion, whatever you want to describe, but you can do it. Um, and this is the first time I've ever done one of these, so I'm learning too. Uh, but darn if it doesn't work really, really darn good. <laughs> Working real good, so. Uh, a lot of folks, uh, you know, I do the shout outs and stuff, and I, I know I forgot a ton of people and I apologize for that, I really do. Uh, but those comments that you leave on the video here are, are they're seen and they're appreciated big time. Uh, so, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I'm doing something totally asinine, let me know. <laughs> if you see something that's really dorked up, you know, that's what it's all about. But it's gonna look really good, it's gonna color match you know, it'll look really, really groovy pretty. 
once it's all steamed and sanded and stuff. So, all right, take care. Have a, I don't know if I'll do a video tomorrow because it's probably going to be cloudy, rainy, icky weather anyway, but just a little bit at a time here, and that's what it takes. So, thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you later.